How do I? Back. Actually, back. though, how do I sound? Beautiful. Okay. Um. Wow. <laughs> how are you guys? I'm good. Ugh, I feel like shit. Why? I don't know. I feel sick. But I'm scared to take a COVID test because I'm supposed to go to Miami tomorrow. COVID is, COVID is canceled. Yeah. I thought that was kind of fun. That was a good That's what I said, but my mom right was like. Now. We just script, we scripted the first 60 was, seconds of the pod just for yeah, everyone. Yeah, it's like an NFL team, the first drive come out. We, we knew that was going to happen. My mom doesn't want me to come unless I take one, so. Do you want me to take one for you? Yeah. Um, okay. No, I think it's like strap or something. Sorry, we're being gross. Move on. Not really. Yeah, this is foul. Yeah. Um, I was playing a game of chess before this to prepare for. Some would say this is a chess match. I I play checkers Bet- on my phone. Twixt you and I. Sorry. We're playing chess. You're playing tic tac toe. Mm. Yeah. You're. Um. How was Star Wars World? Okay, I went to Star Wars World. It was awesome. Fucking nerd. It, See what you're doing right now? That's got to stop. You're negative. That's got to stop right now. You're a ball of disgusting negative energy. Before, wait, before we do this, you know what I discovered about her? Uh Uh-oh, you are pregnant. Mm, Maybe that's what these symptoms are. No, I think you're just like that Mm -hmm. all the time. I was always like, why when I start a conversation with her when she's drinking, is it always jarring? Like, immediately. (laughs) Feels like and she's stabbing you in the face. I finally figured it out. It's because she starts conversations with a demand. No matter what it is, she comes up to me at the bungalow and she's like, hold on, I gotta tell you something. Back up, back up two feet. And then I was just like, now I'm against a tree. And then I remember <laughs> like, or she's like, hold this. Like she's just holding miscellaneous, like just tokens and coins. And she's like, take these, take these. And let me tell you my tales. <laughs> Where are you getting tokens and coins? Yeah. And rings. Chuck E. Cheese, obviously. A bunch of vases, just glass vases. She's throwing them in the air high. She's like, I know, here's my story. And Wait. that's you, and that's who we, you, you are. You do mental gymnastics. Well, I don't think that that's that bad. No, you're, you crack up at my stories. When? You're always giving a little chuckle and a little little, little smile. It's true, but... Because if you weren't, then I would literally leave you the fuck alone. It does sometimes feel like in like Street Fighter or Tekken, when a character gets like 35 punches and it goes like slow-mo and you don't have time to react. It's and like you're that. just like... You're just like trauma dumping and telling me. I can't tell if your things. girlfriend liked me or not. Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, no, you're just saying that. You're uh, just <laughs> gaslighter. You're the no, biggest you gaslighter in the entire world. Uh, uh, no, I'm sure I can't wait to tell your girlfriend how much of a gaslighter you are. You know, the best gaslighters, people don't realize they're gaslighting. You're me. I'm guy. gaslighting. You're a devious guy. I am good at it. Uh, no, I'm sure she thought you were great. She was great. So props to you cool i cool like beans. her she's pretty um star wars world is it okay if i talk about star wars mm-hmm. world proceed it was awesome it's like you're there i can't remember what planet it was i believe it was the uh i believe it was tatooine and uh or the buildings were like tatooine the millennium falcon was there could you kill sand people yes it was not encouraged I would strike them down. It was frowned upon. I would start with the children and the women. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Every single one of them. Yeah. No, it was really fun. All the ri- uh, Dude, I waited in line for like 90 minutes for a ride, and it was so good. We got back in line, and it broke down. And so we had to wait over an hour and a half. Still worth it. The ride I showed you is the most unbelievable thing I've ever uh, seen. Well, we should They send- put you there on the Death Star, and send- they take you into a- Sorry? Sorry. I'm sorry. I was going to say, send her the clip so we can throw it in. And I just, I totally fucked up your flow. Oh, yeah. No, I can send you the clip right now. No, it's just later. No, and I was um, going to do a sexual soul joke about, like, Darth Vader raping uh, me, but. Fuck. No, it's fine. It wasn't going to be that good. It probably was, though. No. I just took that away from our listeners because I'm a you, fucking No, loser. you didn't. No. I want to talk about this. Nah, keep going. What else happened? Start with the But then we go into Savvy's workshop. That's where... Padawans would build their lightsabers to fight with the resistance. You Thank don't know you. that. Yeah, I would. I well, I'm, man, I'm mansplaining. 
Mm-hmm. That's my new thing. I, I'm starting to mansplain. I, you should. Ah! I love the way it feels. It's funny because I was Darth Vader one year when I was like in second grade for Halloween, not having any, watched any Star Wars. And then I ran into a boy That's in my grade. Your culture, my culture is not your costume. That is hilarious. Well, I was Holly. Oh, don't do it back though. Sorry, sorry. It's so fun. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, um, and then time. I saw a little kid in my grade, a boy wearing the exact same costume, so... Well, yeah, really Catherine upset. went as Mace Windu for Halloween once, no. and that is a black man. She yeah. didn't. She didn't do blackface, but my she just did a purple lightsaber. But like when she told me that story, I was like, "Lead with that you didn't do blackface." Yeah, start with that. <laughs> Side note: uh, I went to college with these two girls, and at one point in time, like after knowing them for two years, just revealed to me that they went as uh, Ray Allen and Paul Pierce uh, for Halloween in third grade, and. Show me the pictures and the most blackface I've ever seen. Oh, like, like, like motor oil. Yeah, like, face. like yeah. not even a, not even the skin color that any human being is. I don't think it's like that type of black. Man, you man to black, <laughs> man to black. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I know it's wrong. But that's there. If that's if crazy. it's two white girls in third grade doing blackface, I think, I think as a world, as a community, as a country, we can come together and be like, that's funny. Hey, now, it is that's funny. funny. I yeah, bet their parents friends... were like, what are you doing? I'm just kidding. Their parents probably painted their faces. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> me and my friends fifth grade were, like, rappers. And, like, now thinking back on it, I would have been immediately canceled. I don't even want to describe the costume because it's, like, fucked you're gonna, up. You're going to have to go ahead and describe that costume, though. I can't. Please. I don't want to be canceled. Emily. You're not going to be canceled. Nobody gives a fuck about you. That's so true. <laughs> God, I'm joking around. Okay. I'm, having a, I'm trying to have a good time. Did you... Paint your face. No. How old were you? Fifth grade. Racist. Although I did dress up as Zorro in first grade. Yeah. I was a big Zorro head. I was. I love Zorro. I did Zorro as well. Really? Would, would you do you do the Z? I remember <laughs> they, <laughs> they fucking took my sword when I got to school. I couldn't. I was like, the costume doesn't work without my fucking sword. What's Zorro like? Dragon Ball Z shit. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. What is it? Antonio Banderas hmm. is Zorro. Yeah, no, no, he's no one. Just a mass crusader that saves societies. <laughs> and women. <laughs> saves the day. Saves chicks. I just got a Bloons Tower Defense 6 notification from Reddit. Okay, wait, why from Reddit? Um, I think I like looked up something on Reddit on like how to complete a level. Okay, uh, Bloons Tower Defense 6 is his magnum opus. Ninja Kiwi. Mm-hmm. You're familiar. His name pops up at the start of every. Uh, it's a perfect game. Uh, I've sunk so many hours into it. You have no idea. I used to play it on my like iPod Touch, and it would quit. It would quit out of the app because I was like too deep in. Oh, because there were too many too balloons, many, and too it many would like purple. Yeah. Yeah, it stutter. Oh, God, such a good game. Did you ever play the original where you would like? The balloons, just balloons. Yeah, just balloons. Where he was standing there on the sky and he On Addicting Games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Mini clip. Oh, Addicting Games. That era is dead, which is kind of a bummer. Because now it's just like apps on your phone. But Addicting Games is like where that's where everything was. That's how I got addicted to RuneScape was through Mini Clip and Addicting Games. They funneled me in and they trapped me. And uh oof. I couldn't get into RuneScape. I mean that's I liked me- it, but I didn't get into it into it. That's because you're a quitter. Yeah, that's probably true. I. What about uh, Wizards 101? Did you play Wizards 101? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and my boy Hayward fucking rocked with Wizards 101, bro. <laughs> it sounds like the stupidest fucking game uh, ever. It, it, yeah, it was terrible. What, how does it compare to the Harry Potter game coming out? Never played that. I've never played any Harry Potter. Wait, there's a new Harry Potter game coming out? Oh, have you not heard about this? I think I've seen an advertisement for Dude, it. Dude, it's like a open world RPG where you like make your own character. Uh, I mean, you just go to Hogwarts. I don't know how... It's all in the news right now because of J.K. Rowling being transphobic. Or no, what is she? Turf. Turf. I just figured Shout out. Shout out to my turfs watching. Shout out to the TERFs. All the TERFs watching. Should we just start calling people that listen to this podcast TERFs? <laughs> Yo, the TERFs. Can we do that and spell it differently? Yeah, instead of friends of the pod. What is it? It's trans 
Radical. Radical. That's TR. So we're not. <laughs> Do you know? Oh, I can look it up. Muslim extremist. No, no, no. Finish, finish your Bloons Tower Defense Six game. What, are and, you eating? And your breakfast, and then you can look it up. I told, I told Will not to speak to me while I was spooning food into my mouth, and then I was going to mute my mic when I was Sorry, doing I, that. I did forget about that. My apologies. And my what are you, awesome. what are you eating? Overnight oats. Billy inspired me to start making them when we were living together. They're so good. And I they are so, it's so weird. Good. Oh my that god, it was weird. so much fun. Me him and Chet, we would. You know, we just had a little bit of fun. This just, much. just a little. And so turf, you were looking that up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was mean. Is it spelled with a U or um, is it different? Just look up J.K. Rowling T-E-R-F. Yeah. I think it's T-E-R-F. I could have looked it up, but <sighs> I don't know. Trans exclusionary radical feminist. I did get radical. Wait, that. That sounds kind of like what you're. What you're what, when you s- talk to us off the podcast, you kind of. That's what you are. She's shaking her head. Yes. Huh. No. She's doing this. <laughs> what does that mean? I love the LGBTQ plus community. I didn't believe it. It not sounded of, like you had rehearsed it. There. Yeah. I do have a funny thing to say. You what? Go okay, ahead. Now go that you guys this. brought up my family, wait, yeah. Um, I have a funny story about my my grandpa had an illegitimate child. That's hilarious. That's great. I know. With, tell a story. So oh, well, I thought there was okay. Yeah, yeah, there is more. Well, first of all, he had my mom or my grandparents got pregnant when I when my mom was in college, and so like she was definitely an accident, but they never admitted it to her. So you'd think like. That was the accident. But a couple years ago, my mom get, gives me a call. I'm like literally in the library at school. And she's like, so it turns out I have a brother. I'm like, I'm sorry. Um, and basically, it was it's the weirdest thing because my grandpa is the type of man, like he would send my brother gifts like in the mail all the time because he only had two daughters. And my mom would be like, don't worry, Emily, like because I would get upset about it as a little kid, like not getting gifts in the mail. My brother would be getting all these gifts. My mom would be like, don't worry. It's just like the son he never had. Like that was the quote she would use every fucking time. It's the son he never had, son he never had. Like so like, and I, that would like, I guess, get me through it. And then, yeah, my mom calls me up and she's like, yeah, I have a brother. I'm like, oh, so he did have a fucking son. So it turns out one summer, like when he was younger, like when he was 19, um, he had like a summer fling and she got pregnant and they decided to never tell anyone and just give it up for adoption and like a Jewish adoption agency. And, like, cut off all ties, like, never speak to him again, like, never spoke of it. Then the woman passed away um, a while ago. But so my one of my cousins, like, this is why I can't fucking tell stories. I mean, this is I'm like listening. like a like an act one, an act two and an act three. Like, I don't know where I am. Well, I summarized it from in the beginning, and then you fucking asked me to tell the story. I didn't say anything. I was listening the entire I'm time. I'm sorry. I was. He tra- wasn't. He was looking no, at No, I me. was listening, but I thought. I know, and that's why I can't do it. What's the end? No, actually. Okay, continue. basically, on 23andMe, he was on there. He connected with, like, one of my third cousins or whatever and kept asking about him and whatever. They ended up finding each other. There's more crazy details, but nobody cares, cause especially Will. I um, care. I just was going for the... I Dude, your grandpa sounds like the man. He loves busting his Oh, my chicks. God. He's so scary. You would be terrified of him. Um, But I love him. Um, and Why is he scary? He's 100? He just, no, he's just really intimidating. And I, uh, No, he's not. <laughs> he's, <laughs> no, he's not. He's, well, he's an well, asshole. How, how what did you say he's about not like old a cute grandpa. in the first episode? You were like, I could... I could destroy them with like a wiffle ball bat or something. Oh yeah, it was about that old lady, that the oldest woman to ever live. She's like 113. And I said I could decapitate her. With no, a my ball bat. my grandpa's <laughs> my grandpa's in his 70s. He might be turning 80 soon, but he's young because he had my mom when, like, he was really young. Um, but yeah, so then then we met him. We met the brother, and he's a, <laughs> and he looks exactly like my fucking grandpa. It's so weird. But then we spent Thanksgiving with him, and it was the weirdest fucking experience. And he is ooh, that's a mistake. Um, I want to see a picture of my dad when he was like oh ten. Oh, wait, I thought he was seventeen in that. No, well, I sent you multiple. Oh, the he was first seventeen one. in the one where he looks like 
Steve Jobs, but the one where he looks like uh You aren't going to believe this, Emily. It's fucking insane. He sent me the picture of his father. Wait, what like what's wrong with it? There's nothing Chinese, wrong it's with a Chinese it. man. It just looks hilarious. Wait, you're you're Asian? Let me see. Is it which one you show? You're me? Korean. You're Wait, like show, that's show Korean. Her, her, no, I'm gonna show her all of them. Show her the first one he sent me. Yeah, he he legitimately looks like Chinese in this. It's very strange. It's a young Chinese or Korean. Holy shit, Will! Your father's Korean. In this photo, he is apparently. Does he look Korean now? No, he looks like me. So he looks Korean. Did you have a Korean? Or Asian Pacific Island. I mean, we always had like my mom's Korean friend come over and hang out, but that was the only Korean people hmm. we knew. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Was that? Uh, did that happen to be a man? It did. Huh. Now that I think. Now that I think about it. He was always at my birthday party. He always oh. said he was so proud of me every birthday. He would give me a gift, but I didn't have him. With letters that he would write he to me. He paid for my college. Huh. Huh. <laughs> you were going to say What were you saying? Oh, I wasn't saying anything. I finished my fucking story because these are fucking horrible. Okay. I can't tell stories because I don't know when you're going to hit the buzzer. And I don't know when you're going to start looking at each other and being like, I can't stand this bitch anymore. Let me say something. I, I cared about your story. But two thoughts went through my... We'll cut this. Two thoughts went through my head. One... We got to get Emily a camera. This is too much talking time. Oh, we're not cutting that part of you saying that. This is too much talking time for her to not have a camera. So then my second thought was, it'd be funny if I hit the buzzer because honestly, it's been off of you for so long. We probably should. Yeah. So it was never about not caring. It was about, this will be a funny way to fix this issue. I understand. I'm not cutting that because I need people to know that you actually want a camera on me. Well, you are cutting it. And not it. just me. I'm being obsessed with myself. Well, you are cutting it. So mm. that, glad we worked that out. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Felt like I was in free fall there for a second. Yeah. I didn't even know what was yeah. going on. Um, what else is? What else is? I heard you have a new segment. Shut up! That was a surprise. Oh. I have a new segment. Do it. Oh. Well, Liam's not involved? He is involved. And you don't know about this? You know, he knows. I pitched it to him a long time ago. Oh, it's a movie thing then, right? Yeah. Yes, I remember. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, let's both of you never do that again. <laughs> I don't like that. You didn't do it. <laughs> We're cutting all this. God, you're going to have so much work to do today. If we, okay, remember that thing we said about high school? If I was in middle school with you guys, I, I would have made your lives living hell. Yeah, but if we were in middle school in 2023 together, you and you would be killed by me. No. At the school. No. No. So I'm talking like 2012, 2013 middle school. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have. No. You, I, you would have like... No. You would have been the kid that like picks his nose and like flicks his boogers in the middle of class. Wrong. I would have been jacking off in the back of the room. Yeah, that too. You would have said one mean thing to me in middle school. You would have been this the kid that fucking cheats off of me. But not me because I'm stupid. So you would have been the kid yeah, cheating definitely. off of me. Also, well. he's, also, he's smart. So why would he do that? I didn't cheat. I cheated so Shit's much. Easy. You know what's easy? School. If anyone tells you school is hard, they're dumb. Well, studying for things isn't fun. So I... Just don't study. I opted out of studying and then cheated. Any, anyways, sorry. If we were in middle school, you and I would not have been friends. And you would have bullied me and I would have cried. And you would have gotten such a high off of it because I cried all the time. All the time. Anything would make me cry. And you would know how to push my buttons. And you would probably push me to dark places. Uh, I definitely, I, I, I would have gotten a high off making you cry. But I think that if we were already in middle school together, we would have been both... I don't know. We have such, we have so many similar interests. I think we would have been fine. Yeah, but I was. Uh, <clears throat> I think in middle school, I'm I'm radically different. In terms of interests and personality. Me too. I think you're thinking of me now. I was a little sensitive. Were you a goblin? No, not really. I was. Dude, I remember in fifth grade, I would like, I would start crying, and I would just like be like, I. 
my stomach hurts. I have to go to the nurse. And I would like go to the nurse and just lay down in the, in, on the sick bed for like two hours <laughs> just to get out of class and like not be around people. And I would do that like once a week. That's exactly like you now. What do you mean you're wildly different? That's what you do now. <laughs> yeah, but instead of crying, I harm other people and drag them down with me. Mm. So I think I've matured a mm. little bit. Uh, and I lay down in front of everyone because I want them to know. I don't hide anymore. That's true. You do lay down. I know. I didn't have any self confidence in middle school. Maybe a little bit, but I wasn't out there like this kid. I was in the back being like, "I got it. Hope this doesn't swing around. Whatever this mean Dude, conversation had, is, it doesn't swing towards me." If you had self confidence, <laughs> that'd be like, be like Saruman getting the ring. It would've been bad. And putting it on. Well, if you peaked in middle school, and you're a fucking loser now, so I don't really. I don't think anyone. Can, you can't peak in middle school. Actually, I know people that did, so uh, that's mm. not true. Well, socially. I know some people that were, like, the coolest, most handsome people in middle school, and then they were, like, bald by the end of high school. Really? Yeah. That's Bal tough. B balding. Yeah. Not, like, fully bald. Yeah. Um, he was really sick, I think. <laughs> I'm kidding. How I'm just having... I'm just... Go on. Oh, I got one to tell you about that guy that admitted to murder, to murdering someone to me on the Santa Monica Pier. Uh, we were doing Man on the Street episode uh, at the Tech Ball Tournament. If you don't know what that is... You don't play a clip, Emily. Yeah, play some tech ball. From the back of the court, our boy again from Gitler, and again Brazil defend well. Gitler just long. Whoa, um, very cool. Whoa, and uh, I was walking around, and this man approached me, which is always like a, it's a good sign that he's gonna have something to say, something and, to get off his chest. Yeah, and he asked me what I was doing there, and I was like making up this fake thing where Will blew me off. And so I was like, ah, my best friend, I can't rely on him. And then he's like, you know who you can rely on? The Messiah, Jesus Christ. And I said, true. And then we prayed together for three minutes. And I really, I hadn't prayed in a while. So I was like, all right, I'm actually going to pray. And I prayed with this guy for three minutes, closed my eyes, really did the prayer. And then at the end of it, he looks up at me. He's like, Jesus can forgive you for any sin. And I was like, anything? And he goes, yeah. And I said, well, what? What has he forgiven you for? And he said, I murdered someone. And he meant business. He wasn't fucking kidding. And I could see it in his eyes that he wasn't kidding. And I asked him specifically what happened. And he said, I don't want to get into it. But. That's when you know it's true. Yeah. He was like, I don't want to get into it, but it was me and a few other people killed this guy and he didn't deserve it. And. You know, I didn't get in any trouble for it, but I've had to ask Christ for forgiveness on that. And the whole time, I, he was telling me the truth. I can, I can fucking tell when people are saying silly shit to say silly shit. This guy <laughs> meant, he was not fucking kidding. He murdered someone, and he felt genuinely sorry about it. And we just prayed to Christ. And you're going to post this clip of him, and he's going to find you. Uh, nah, he couldn't do shit. Uh, ooh, actually. <laughs> Wait, you're going to post him, in, like, admitting to murder? Yeah, that's the whole point of me going out and doing this and shit. And did he give you permission to do that? I didn't ask. <laughs> there was a fucking camera in his face. He walked up to me. I'm holding a microphone, and a, there's a camera. Lucas fucking Boyd is holding a shoulder rig. Um, Spooky. Be careful. Um, I'd love to see the fallout of that. Yeah, maybe they're. <laughs> maybe I should reconsider. I want him to show up here. No, he seemed like a nice guy. Like we're friends, we prayed he together. Seemed like a nice guy. Oh, Liam's friends with the murderer. We prayed together. He's forgiven through Christ. Liam's friends with a few murderers. Do you think like you could be friends with a murderer? Yeah. yeah. Like, do you think you could genuinely like be friends with that guy and be like, I forgive you too? Yeah. Yep. I think I maybe could too. Uh, if he was interested in you, Emily. You'd, no. You'd fall in love with him. No. Mm -hmm. But I was watching... Um, you'd romanticize his murder. What's that show? 60 Days In. Have you heard of that show? Mm -hmm. And I just feel like you can really like start to understand people for not just being prisoners. They're real people. <sighs> I feel like that's something that you could have gone into the show already knowing. I don't know if that's the point of the show. Perhaps it isn't. I don't know. Uh, have you ever been to jail? 
no, I kind of want to go to one and see. <laughs> no, not like get in trouble and go. I want to like visit one. Oh, but I, I have visited one before. I went to like Alcatraz or whatever. Oh, you did? But that's not like the same because it's like a museum now. She was visiting her dad. <laughs> nice. Oh, my dad's perfect. He would never do that. It's a joke. My cousin's a CO. Yeah, I want to hear his stories. stories. Can we have him on the pod? Yeah, if he comes to LA, we can. We should. Like, I talk to him all the time. I need him to write down all of his like specific stories. And he's a big fella, so they send him. Big guy. And he's the youngest, one of the younger dudes. So there. he's an enforcer. Can I just say something really random? Um, after watching that show, sixty days in, I'm like, like you, you see like the types of weapons they make, and they like make a lot of shanks. And I like every time I walk in here, I see that object on the floor and it just looks like one of the shanks they make in jail yeah i mean it's a piece of metal um fuck I'm, af- I'm afraid that guy's gonna track me down show the friends at the pot that looks like a shank that they would use in jail you could hook someone in the mouth with this <laughs> ew um you don't know where that's been i do know where it's been it's been used as a shank in the nearby county jail <laughs> don't just leave it this is the worst episode we've ever done uh, we say that every fuck. single time and then they end up pretty good oh i'm going to new york this weekend what should i do <gasps> oh what kinds of things do you want to do nothing uh, um you don't want to do anything I get want... a bagel for sure yeah you have to go to my favorite spot is brooklyn bagel okay it's not you don't have to go to brooklyn for it just brooklyn bagel Okay. That's where you're getting your bagel. Okay. And that's it. I hate New York. You love it. That's all you fucking talk about, I thought. No. You don't like it? Why do you think I moved? You said you were dying to go back, no? I've been dying to go back to, like, visit. Oh, okay. But it's so fucking cold. It's smelly. It's loud. It's stressful. Yeah, I don't do well there. The only reason I like it is, like, because I love my friends that are there. I was there for almost a week and over the summer. Summer is fun, though. Okay. What? What the craziest thing you've ever seen in New York? What was it? Come on. <laughs> You're grasping for straws here. I know, man. I fucking... Let's do one, two characters. Fuck it. Yeah. Let's do a short episode. I got nothing. I got... I, I don't even remember my characters. Um. I wrote them down. Well, that's why we write them down. Oh, my God. The route. All right. Let me start. I, I got one. I got a silly one up top. Look at me. I'm pulling up my characters. I wasn't ignoring well, okay, you. Okay, it's not about you right now. He's doing his character. Oh, that's what this is. I'm doing a character. Oh, yeah, okay. I am Jeffrey Dahmer, and okay. I'm doing... This is a silly one. I'm Jeffrey Dahmer, and I'm doing an icebreaker. Okay. Hi. Okay. Hey, what's up? Okay, bro. Kill, fuck, kill, fuck, then eat. Uh, Terry Crews, LeBron, and my black 16-year-old neighbor. Oh, man. I kind of want to kill fuck then eat my <laughs> black young neighbor. Or I want to kill fuck and eat black people. Where are you from? Oh, fuck. <clears throat> <laughs> that's, that's a good one. I don't know if it is. No, that How'd was you... really good. No, that was awesome. How did you How did you come up with that one? I was doing a, I was trying to figure out an icebreaker last night, and I was like, I'm funny if Jeffrey Dahmer was like, kill fuck, Mary, <laughs> kill fuck, kill fuck, then eat, was the third one. Ah, damn it, mine suck. No, go. Maybe I should stop saying every single episode, mine suck, here they are. Yeah, you got, if you say they're good, I'm sure people would be like. They're re- actually really good. I'll be the judge of that. All right. <laughs> this one sucks. It actually does. Good. Good. Okay, wait. I got to give you a prereq. Okay. Oh, wait. No. This, okay, okay. <clears throat> Never mind. This is a guy who has a really subtle tell when he's horny. Oh, you've done this, but I love it. To me. Not on the pod, though. Yeah. Hey, man. How you doing? Pretty good. What's up? Oh, nothing. Um, dude, I uh, I remember you saying you had that weird scar on your foot. Yeah. 
Can I see it again? Sure. My dad's a doctor, and I'm. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's the whole character. I like it a lot. I'm. I... <laughs> you did it to me last week. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Somebody wow, you hated in, that one. No, so I'm laughing because somebody sent in a similar character. I'm like, are you like... What character? Who? Ah. What? What character? I'll find it. Also, uh, I've done this one before, so that's... That was very good. I enjoyed that one a lot. This one's bad. I'm I'm Wayne Papercut. I make balloon animals at the fair, but I don't have any customers. Okay. <laughs> balloon dog I got a balloon dog Going once Going twice balloon dog Alright No takers I guess uh, I guess you don't have a home there Little buddy <laughs> Guess this is the end of the road for you <laughs> I got a giraffe. Go once on the giraffe. Needs a home. <laughs> That's really good. That's Wayne. Wouldn't Pippercut. he pop though? You would think. <laughs> you would. You would think. <laughs> we and uh, those uh, those at Chet and Fabo were also involved in that one. We were at drunk as skunks at Hanano's. That's very <laughs> Read the one I sent you, Will. From a friend Jazz McJizzlebottom. <laughs> I like it. He's a world-renowned jazz artist, selling millions of his songs worldwide, but there's one problem. Every time jazz plays the saxophone, he releases an ungodly amount of splug all down. Splooge. I think it says it's splug. I know. He spilled. Releases splug all down his trousers. Fighting through his embarrassment, he attempts to dance the jizz out of his pants, shaking his legs, resulting in the audience getting a face full of jazz McJizzlebottom's cum. It's awesome. I like that. <laughs> was, I like it. it. Wait, well, how, that's not similar yeah, what was to my that character. So, yeah. there was an, I think there was a, well, another one that was more similar, but um, I didn't you think? it. You make some crazy accusations at Upper. Mm. Yeah, you do. You're not wrong. Just, just to. Okay, here's my character. All right, you're a, you're a, you're my child, and you're really scared. There's a monster under your bed, and you're going to bed. All right, night, little buddy. Dad, Dad, could you check if there's any monsters under my bed? There's no monsters under your bed. I'm just, I, I know there is, Dad. Can you check for me? Okay, I'll check again, but you gotta stop doing this. You're getting older, okay? Okay. All right. I'll check under the bed first, okay? Okay. Hey! You're blowing this. It's not going to work if he finds out. So shut up. Shut up. Dad, who are you talking to? Sorry? There's nothing under there. You want me to check the closet, too? Yeah, can you check the closet, too? All right, I'll check the closet. But, son, you're getting to that age that you can't be believing in ghouls and goblins and ghosts like this. Okay, Dad. I'll check. Hey! Shut up! Your buddy over there almost blew it. Shut up! If you want the boy, be quiet. Who are you talking to, Dad? Sorry? Who are you talking to, Dad? You're being really fucking nosy. Just go to fucking bed. Okay. Your, if your mom were alive, she'd be so disappointed in you. What? Night, son. That's it. That was good. I like it a lot. No, it's okay. Uh, on, sucks my mom's dead. What? Sucks my mom's dead, Matt. Well, she was in the closet. Allegedly. Oh. What? And under the bed. Who were the men under the bed? Hmm? Who were the men? Is there a backstory for them? They're not men. They're, they're, they're monsters. Yeah. Oh, I thought there, maybe there was just kids that you were you were pimping me out to like pedophiles in town. Jesus. No, there were monsters and uh, I had some blood packed with them. I mean, pedophiles are monsters too. Arguably worse. Would you rather have? Would you rather be a child with two monsters under your bed or two pedophiles in your room at the same time? You think on that. 
I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. Think on it. Character? Okay. I'm Dougie Waterbeds. <laughs> awesome. You're my friend, and you're telling me a story, but I'm kind of tired. Okay. I'm <laughs> telling you a story? Yeah, just go ahead. Yeah, so I was in the Uber, and the driver was... I, I don't know where he was from or like what accent he had, but um, what are you doing? Keep going. <laughs> I mean, the driver, he was screaming in like the funniest accent I've ever heard at the guy. What are you doing? I'm just a little tired. Keep going. Okay. Don't stop on my that? <laughs> have you done this before? This is very weird. I'm a little bit tired. Just, uh. Well, we were driving down the highway. I can't look at you. You look like you're about to kill me. I just keep going. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, it's a it's a visual gag for those at home. <laughs> zoom, in. <laughs> zoom in. Does that actually wait? Try to close your eyes. <laughs> let let the wait, wait. Don't touch it. Just let your don't close your eyes, but let them. Don't like hold them open. You know what I mean? Let's see what happens. I'm not holding them open right now. <laughs> They look really wide open. Yeah, no. it looks really unsettling. <laughs> you look like you got bad plastic surgery. What's another character before I take these off that we could do with this? Um, a guy with plastic surgery. Um, <laughs> let's add, let's let's have the ideas come from you. Well, that was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds better at your voice. Uh, the pl- uh, guy with plastic surgery. Ooh, I had actually. I have an idea for a character. I think I already pitched this one a long time ago. Go ahead. My eyes are starting to burn. All right. I'm a plastic surgeon, and I'm trying to, like, like I want. Here, I'm a plastic surgeon. Okay, so we're just doing the crow's feet and the eyes? Yep. You. That's it? Really? You didn't want to do the nose, too? What? You're only doing the eyes? Wow, okay. Um, you don't want to do the cheekbones, too, and fix the... Fix what part? No, I'm... I'm I, 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 I... For the lips, we could do some... We could fix it. We could make it better. You don't have to live like that. This is the miracle of science. That's not... You want to just do the eyes? Okay, we'll just do the eyes. And maybe those big, disgusting earlobes. Maybe we can... What's wrong? No, I... Listen, you're steering the ship. I'm just making sure everything's going smooth. So we're just doing the eyes and the skin. What about the skin? Let's get you some new skin. What? I'll take all that skin. I'll throw it in the incinerator. We'll get you some new skin. How? How can I have new skin? (laughs) What is this? I don't know. His eyes are tearing. I know. I've been open for minutes. Well, I guess well, that's, that's how you get that's yourself a, to cry. That's a plastic surgeon who negs his clients. And his name is Kroll Fitch. I like that. You hate it. I liked it. I'm just a little having PTSD because my plastic surgeon ruined my life. Wait, actually? Yeah. Well, wow. How? Well, he just fucked up my nose job. You got a nose job? I, have we not discussed this? No. No, when did you do that? Well, like sophomore year of oh. college. Um, can I see a picture of the old you? The mm-hmm. real you? Mm-hmm. Can I now? Mm-hmm. Ow, fuck. It kind of hurt. I don't even know if it was worth it. So he fucked it up, and then you had someone, you had the same guy fix it, or what? No. Um, I went back, like, a year later. Like, he kept saying that it was going to, like, the swelling was going to go down. And everything's done after a year. Like, nothing else is going to change after a year. And um, I was like, bro, like, I didn't ask for this tip at the end. Like, the whole reason. Like, I got my nose was super bulbous. And um, so after a year, he was, like, offering to fix it for free. So, like, we went back in, and he was, like, really not, like, he was really, like, not reassuring me that he I'm I'm cutting this. No, you can't <laughs> cut this. Well, no, it's, I, it's so st- visual, and nobody can see me. Uh, we'll hold it up. Okay, whatever. Here. That buzzer was just for fun. That was a fun one. 
I am curious. I am, I do want to hear about your life. Oh, I mean, I fully just was going to cut this. But, um, yeah, I so like then it. he was like, he wouldn't admit that he was going to fix it. Like, he wouldn't use the word fix. He was like, yes, I, no, I can enhance it. Oh, because you didn't want liability. Yeah, he didn't yeah. want to, like, I was like, listen, dude, like, the only reason I would consider, like, letting you touch my nose again is if you can fix it and, like, you're really not reassuring me right now. And, like, you're the only reason I would consider it is because you're, off, like, you're offering it for free. And he was like, oh, well, it shouldn't be about the money. Like, if it's about the money, like, we'll just give you your money back for the nose job. Like, it's fine. I mean, my mom looked at each other just like that. And he got you. He got your ass. What do you mean? He fucked up your nose job. Well, then he gave us all the money back for it. Right, but he had to fix it? No, I still haven't gotten it fixed since I've gotten it done. Oh, the, oh. But, I guess that's a compliment. No, I'm saying it looks good. What? <laughs> that was... That was fun. What was that rude? What I said? No, um, no. Wait, no, because it. it looks like she got. No, it looks fine. Yeah, it looks yeah, great. That's what I meant. There's nothing wrong with it now. It's more so like uh, you just didn't do what I asked. Oh, true. My nose wasn't that bad before. No, it wasn't. Emily, look how pretty. Oh, look at you. Yeah, come on. Yeah, see, it wasn't so that bad. beautiful. Yeah, I think you had a nice nose either way. Thank you. Uh, a girl told me one time that I should get a nose job, and that hurt my feelings. Wait, you're, there's nothing wrong with your nose. Thanks for saying that. Emily, do you want to see my uh, the discs in my back herniated? Yes. Fucking Batman 2 coming out October 3rd, 2025. 2025? Yeah, did you not know that? What the fuck? Yeah. They, they said 2025 a while ago. What the fuck? Hey, I'm just happy that I now have a target date. I know, but 2025? Dude, no, this is good. Imagine if this this happened with Star Wars. They rushed... The sequel and the trilogy of the new movies, and they're terrible. This is good. This is the best thing that could happen. They're gonna have so much time to work on the script and the production. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. This is the best thing that could happen. You don't want this trilogy to get rushed. Right, I would assume right. it's gonna be a trilogy. You're right. Yeah, it is. Um, is that what they said? That's what Matt Reeves was saying. Dude, give him. I don't care. Give him three years to work on the script. Yeah, but I was. I'm surprised because he said he's already like making a lot of headway on the script now. I bet it's something to do with, like, Robert Pattinson not being able to film until a certain time. Probably. And it's called The Batman Part 2, which I feel like is going to change. Yeah, it'll probably... that's a... Who's... I mean, you've been reading Batman. Apparently, it's not The Court of Crow or Court of Owls. Court of Owls would be my number one choice for where this goes. And it, I don't think it would happen this... I feel like... doing the third one. Yeah, Court of Owls is going to be, like, a slow burn thing if they do it, which I think they could potentially do, and it would be very good. Uh, but... What I would really like to see is, I don't, I don't want, I mean, have the Joker in it, but I don't want him to be the main villain. Yeah, I feel the exact same way, but it seems like he's not going to be. It seems like they're going to keep him in Arkham for a while. Um, I would love to see fucking, my, I mean, my favorite villain is Scarecrow, so if we could do some Scarecrow action, Killian Murphy murdered it, but I feel like he didn't get enough backstory and... It was a less cool version of Scarecrow. Yeah, no, he, he really didn't. Um, I want to see the rumors of Brian Cranston as the uh, Mr. Freeze would make me so happy. Just based on the stories you've told me about the character. Coolest Batman villain there is. What about him? Um, he's not a villain. There was, there was some interview where Matt Reeves was like, I'm not ruling out the ketchup and mustard guy. Yeah, there was some, there was some insane... <laughs> what's, what's the villain? I forget the villain. Uh... He's literally like the condiment. Yeah, like the oh yeah, the condiment guy or something like that. I forget. <laughs> he sprays ketchup and mustard. I, I don't know. I've never read a comic book where he's been in there. I don't think he's in anything I've seen. Yeah. Well, it's um, so funny because Batman used to be like that. Like I I don't know the world where Batman's like a comical, funny, like. Uh, in the '60s, that first show that came out with. Uh, yeah. Forget the guy's name. But yeah, it was goofy. It's like him running around with a bomb, being like, "Where do I put the bomb?" Um, but I don't know. This God, is... dude, they could make the they could make the uh, the DC. What's the DC Avengers? The League of Justice League. Justice League. God, that could be sick. They did it. 
No, it, I know, it but wasn't. It, wasn't it terrible? Yeah. I know, but they could make it sick. If they, they, it could be incredible. If it had the gritty, dark atmosphere of Batman. No uh, one wants to see fucking Marvel and, like, they're all happy. Well, actually, apparently everyone wants to see it. Apparently the entire fun. world. I'd take that back. Uh, my favorite moment of the Justice League is when the Justice League finds out that Batman has a contingency, contingency plan for all of them on mm-hmm. how to kill them. And they think they're all, like, getting mad at him. And then uh, he just does Is this the Ben Affleck one? No, no, this is, this isn't in that. This is just in, like, the oh, okay. show and the comic books. Uh, and he just straight up doesn't have one for Green Arrow. And Green Arrow's <laughs> like, why why don't I have one? He's like, I just beat the th- I beat you to death. <laughs> that's literally my plan for you is I that's, just beat you to death. That's hilarious. Um, like, everyone else has this elaborate, like, thought-out plan. <laughs> it's just, just nothing. Um... Damn, I could sit here and talk about Batman all fucking day. I know. Um, what are some other? Yeah, what's up? Should we move? Nerds. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's such a realistic version of it though that I don't. The sec he's gonna be a lot more Bruce Wayne in this one. He's gonna fully develop and go full Bruce Wayne, which is yeah. Be they sick. said they're gonna. He's gonna be the his like emotional development will be like the main focal point of the movie, which is sick. Yeah, he's gonna be a badass Bruce Wayne. I'm so excited. He's bro. probably gonna suck. And fuck and be sucked. I want him to be like, I want him to. I love when, when, when they make the main character like flawed and like angry and he acts on, you know, because in like he, Captain America is like perfect all the time. And Marvel awful. sucks. If you're an adult that likes yeah, Marvel, really go fuck yourself, you loser. If you're looking forward to Ant Man, the Quantum Manium. I don't want to say it, but like, what do you, what do you, what are you doing around? What are you, what are you still doing around? You know what I mean? I think DC is gonna f- eventually. Okay, so they they just decided that they're gonna do a ten year plan to like unite all the franchises within DC. Did you hear about this? I don't remember when they did it. I can't remember if they announced this like a year ago. But that's why they're like severing all the uh, new projects. And Batman is kind of like the last one. Matt Reeves gets like his own take on Batman, and then I think he's done with it. Thank God, I love Matt Reeves too. But they're gonna like they're doing what Marvel did twenty years ago, and they're uniting all the franchises in ten years. And I think that they will overtake them in quality, just because they they're not gonna do what Marvel's doing. They're gonna make it gritty and dark. I hope. Um, there was some sort of uh, uh, James Gunn announcement with DC. What was that? I don't know. I'm trying to look it up. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Swamp Thing's trending. Oh, my God. Give me Swamp Thing. What Swamp Thing? It's one of the best fucking DC heroes. So here's what... Fuck! If they give me Swamp Thing, I'll be so happy. They oh, like as a TV show? They had one, and they fucking canceled it, and it was good. Uh, But I want a movie. Give me a fucking Swamp Thing movie. That would be so sick. The comic books are so sick. Are there any supernatural villains in Batman? Mm-hmm. There's literally like a giant bat. Bat person. Uh, no, I think it's just a straight up. It's not even a human being. What do they call it? Or maybe it is. Uh, there's some name for it. Uh, but yeah, he has to fight a giant bat. There's a werewolf that he fights in some comics mm. in, in, in the animated show. I don't care about that as much. Uh, Clay Clayface is not my favorite. He can just change. Like he goes into a big clay person uh who else is anyone gonna care about this yeah and if they don't i don't care this is what i want to talk about i'm gonna be talking yeah. about batman for the next three fucking years um uh killer croc yeah 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 um yeah i don't care about those as much i no, care I, about i like the, the realistic shit yeah that's what i love about batman scarecrow in the comics and the animated show is not realistic but i don't care in marvel when all all hope is lost uh, I was laughing so hard when they were like, well, we, we, we didn't think of one thing, time travel. I was like, what? This is the laziest fucking <sighs> thing I've ever seen. Oh, you know who's my least favorite, possibly least favorite Batman villain? The Mad Hatter. That's a Batman villain? It's like they just combine the Joker and fucking the Riddler mm. into this like geek. Yeah, it sounds fucking Except stupid. for he does kill. He's like pretty evil dude. More evil, I'd say, but he's a nasty little boy. 
Ooh. All right, let's do some. Let's read some turf submissions. Yes. Shout out to the turfs. <laughs> Liam, do you remember what you said to me about Batman that one night at the Whaler? Like, <sighs> Liam went into this whole thing on, like, why Batman means so much to him. And I, I, I like, I, I honestly, I understood. Like, I, I get it now. But it was the funniest thing I've ever heard. He was just like, I can really relate. Like, you don't understand. Like, Batman isn't just, like, one of these superheroes. This is like, a lie, too. He's, I swear to fucking God. This was, like, right before your the whole, you were, like, flirting with Catherine about comic books. Not flirting, but you know what I mean. Um, they were really that. relating on comic books. Which was crazy to me because I didn't know comic books, like, people still read those. And apparently Catherine does too. So you should buy yourself some comic books, Will. Now that's a cut down. There you go. There's the there's the oh, trailer, there's the trailer oh, for the episode. Oh, I'm gonna pass out. Holy <laughs> yeah, shit! Don't Seizure do that. alert. But yeah, he's. We were saying something. I actually know nothing about like superheroes and Marvel <laughs> shit. Oops. Um. So I really. Yeah, you're a chick. I really started to understand why Batman is so special. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Not idiot. that shit up. Shut up. Nobody idiot. wants to hear it. All right, turf time. Wait, wait. I had one more. It's turf time. <laughs> I, wait, actually, I had one more character. Um, right. um Good luck uh, cutting. Good luck dicing that up. Whatever the last ten minutes was. Uh, I'm out of wake. You're gonna have to timestamp that for me. I'm out of wake, but I just washed my hands. Okay. Hey. Hey. Sorry. Sorry for your loss. Sorry. My wet hands. Hey, sorry for your, sorry, wet hands. Sorry for your loss. She was a great lady. I was really gonna miss her. Hey, hey. Thanks for coming. Hey, oh, sorry, my hands are wet, but um, I'm really she was she's very special and kind lady. Thank you very much. Fuck. No, <laughs> it's fun. I liked it. <sighs> yeah, it was silly. It was silly. You um, didn't silly ones. Hold on, I think I might have one more. Wait. Oh. Two things. One, we got over fifty character submissions this week. See, shout out to the turfs and the friends of the pod. <laughs> my turfs, my turfs. That's what we should. F- let's start saving these because when we fire up the Patreon, I, we should just do them all on the Patreon. Yeah, I it only screenshotted just a couple, so sorry if yours were missed. Also, but if yeah. anyone can um, come up with a premise for my character Peter Pillbottle, that would be greatly appreciated. And if they're willing to give me credit for it for next episode, would greatly appreciate. Also, if you DM me. Uh, characters or anything I'm slow on responses I'm sorry Just but. DM to Almost Friday Pod And don't fucking DM characters My personal It's really weird and annoying DM the Almost Friday Pod Because uh, I like to Read them live For the first time Whereas if I If I'm Looking at my DMs Which I don't I don't really do often Just as a heads up um, Then it spoils the character for me But I like yes. I like to read them live And a little tip If you reaction. say if you say character submission at like the beginning or the end of your me- or, or at this as the second message, you'll more likely to get it on cuz like I can't I usually sift, sift through them like the night before. Do we get a lot of DMs? We've gotten literally over 50 this week character submissions. Nice. Um wow. Taking a quick break to talk to you about BetMGM. As you know, we teamed up with BetMGM this whole season to get our picks for them the whole year. It's been going great. Just had the AFC and NFC championship games. Refs got in the way, but I still made a killing. It was still great. So if you, there's one NFL game left, baby. It's the Super Bowl. It's coming up. Use BetMGM to get all your picks. Go on their app, download their app. Use promo code BEERS. That's B-E-E-R-S for up to $1,000 risk-free Bet on your first bet. You're fibbing. I ain't fibbing. That's promo code BEERS. B E E R S. For up to a thousand dollar risk free bet on your first bet. Remember, you gotta be twenty one years of age or older to bet, and you gotta bet in a legal state. So if 
sports betting isn't legal in your state yet. Sorry, pal, you can't do it. Um, and always be responsible. There are uh, there are ways to get help if you need it for gambling addiction. But have fun. Have a good time. Marcus Nibbler. Situation. Your buddy Marcus Nibbler asks to borrow a pen, and when he hands it back, it's covered in bite marks. Marcus Nibbler refuses to admit he was gnawing on the pen and begins to get violently angry <laughs> when asked about it. Thank you, Sean. Sean Redding. Uh, that was great. I do like the characters that we don't have to act out. Jimmy Murray. Idea. Will just started working at an ice cream parlor, and Liam walks in to order a sundae. Will has never heard of this before and gets confused on what day it is. <laughs> that was my favorite. Jimmy That's Murray. Fun. That's fun. <laughs> Wallace. Wallace Wectum. <laughs> just read that one. Thinks that Planet Fitness <laughs> is an actual planet. Scene. Talking about getting a gym membership at Planet Fitness, but Wallace thinks it would be too expensive. <laughs> Remy. It's just. Berthelet. The t- it's the trout. It's the commute. It's the commute I can't do. I could afford the membership. All right. That's as, that's as far as I can do today. Those are great. And we'll read all of them on when we fire up the Patreon. So keep signing them up. They will, they will all get read. Um, all right. Let's check in with Rust. Ooh, we got two videos. Oh, first. Well, actually, there is two check-ins. One he did last night. But the video that he, the one of him outside is the one that he wants you to watch. The one I sent you isn't really anything. And he doesn't say anything yet. But it's funny. Just watch it. It's like two seconds long. Which one should I watch? Just watch the watch the first one just for shits and gigs. Uh huh. <laughs> what the two second video? <laughs> Can I see it again. Uh huh. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> you should fucking post that on Instagram. I know. How's it going, boys? Um, I'm just having, like, the best uh, Tuesday that I've had in a while. We just found out you guys are going to be there, too, but we got a box at the Waste Management, which I'm excited about. I've never been. Um, And then this girl that I have, like, a little crush on on Instagram just followed me back. So I'm just having a pretty good day. I got one more class. And... And then I'm, and then I, oh, uh, shameless plug. Uh, I'll be on AMP at Tuesdays and Thursdays, f- um, 5.30 to 7.30. I play some pretty sweet tunes if you want to check it out. Um, I hope that you guys are doing well. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. Great. The prodigal son returns. Mm, uh, the headphone. Ah. You want to see the other one that he sent last night? Yeah, first things first. Let me get one of those damn ships t shirts. That that looked pretty cool. That looked like it was right up my alley. Um I was lost in his eyes. I couldn't tell you what color of the shirt he's wearing. Yeah, I also want to know which I gotta text me respond to which Instagram crush. Because I, I know most know. of his Instagram crushes. Not like personally, but I know who he has a crush on. I don't know. Well, I couldn't tell you. Ooh, that's a good character. Old prospector. I couldn't tell you. Have you ever seen Gus Chiggins? Will Ferrell? Mm-hmm. So good. Yeah, I didn't think it was that funny. Well, good old Gus Chiggins. Um, his eyes are crazy blue. There's a 30-year-old man, 31, 32-year-old man in this office that uses the term doggos. Who? Mouth the words. Mouth is named to me. Oh, I know. Obviously, it's fucking Dan Powers. Yeah, I hate it so much. And when I, he says that. I uh, hope he knows he's gonna so be. A, he's gonna spend his life in prison. Yeah. Well, for many. Well, he like a myriad is. of reasons. Not for that, but that's how I know he's done something fucking terrible. All right, he Liam. He is a ser- certified serial killer. Liam, I have a new segment. Yes. Sorry, I had to lay down because I'm, I'm dead inside. That's okay. I'll get um. You. Okay. The name of the segment, Scratch That Pitch. I like that name. Do you like the name? I do. Really? Yes. Tell me you love it. I love it. You gotta hold my hand while Son you of a it. pitch. Scratch that. Mmm. Scratch that pitch. Cross pitch. Like cross stitch or cross fit. I like the first two. Okay. 
This is how this this is how the new segment works. You have calluses. I well, because I work out. Actually, I haven't worked out in two weeks because my back is all fucked up. I thought it was because there were spiders in your gym. Uh, no. Mm-hmm. There are black widow eggs in my garage, though. Why don't you eat them? I did. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> okay, here's here's how the segment works. Scratch that pitch. I'm going to give you... You're going to pitch me a movie, and you're going to cast it, too. You're going to give me the log line of what this movie is, and you're going to say who the actors are that play the characters. And... I give you two movies. I say it's a cross between these two movies. And I give you the... Okay, got it. Okay, so what's the movie that is Manchester by the Sea meets Ted? I'll give you time to think, and mm-hmm. we can cut out the silence. You okay. Can cast, you can cast anyone. It can be about anything. Okay. I mean, it's not that creative, but um, it's called Poster Boy. <laughs> okay. And I like this. It takes place in Gloucester, Massachusetts. It's a nine year old boy named Danny. Danny Brown. Mm-hmm. And um his he's a, he's a, he's got a brother and a sister and a mom and a dad. And in his room is a poster of it's a poster of of Mel Gibson in signs. And so, uh, lo and behold, his house burns down, mm-hmm. and his family dies, mm-hmm. and everything burns up except for his poster of Mel Gibson, who he starts communicating with as a grieving mechanism, coping type of thing. So he becomes the Ted? Mel Gibson is Ted. Does Can everyone else see the poster speaking? No. Just the boy. Just So the they boy. just see him looking. I'm... Five sucks. Well, it's hard. It's hard. We're going to get better at these. Yeah. This I is... figured this. Here, wh- why don't you give me one? Okay. Um, Sandlot meets Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So it's. it's uh, the title of the movie is. Here's what I'm thinking. Title of the movie is Summer Camp. And it's a group of boys. Who are at uh, their their school every summer puts on a baseball camp, and you know a basketball camp, football camp, all that. And this one kid really wants to make the team, but he's just not as big as the other kids. He can't throw as far as them, and they bully him for it. They're not inclusive. The coach thinks he's a loser. His dad. All his dad wanted him to do before he died was to make the baseball team. So this is the only thing he cares about. And one of the kids who's the meanest to him is a shortstop. And he, over the course of the camp, uh, over the course of the camp, gets better. And he takes, he eventually ends up to the point where the coach is like, actually, you're going to make the team. You're going to be the shortstop. The other kid's going to lose the job. So that kid gets really upset, and he breaks the small kid's hands so he can't play baseball anymore. And then he loses his mind and kills everyone on the team. I mean, it's not funny, but that's the, that's the movie. I those like the, it. I guess those are the two movies combined. Yeah. Um, I and like it. And Willem Dafoe plays the coach. Uh, uh Vernon Troyer plays the kid. (laughs) R.I.P. R.I.P. The son from Little People, Big World plays the bully. Which son? The little person. Okay. One of them's like 6'5". I know. That's why I specified. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, and um, it's a T-ball. It's T-ball. It's not actual baseball. It's coach pitch. No, it's T-ball. Uh, I'm just picturing about the scene. Yeah, this in, segment blows. No, no, no. I'm just picturing the scene in Sandlot where he's like, I fucked up. Like, that's you don't understand. That's my dad's ball. Yeah. It's not my ball. And then he just goes home, and instead of, like, trying to look for change to buy a new baseball, he just puts a hunting rifle in his mouth in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that could be 
I mean, we could storyboard it and see how that would work out. Maybe, maybe the angle is we take a scene from one movie. Okay. And where do you, like, you have to, like, we have to take like the suicide scene from uh, Full Metal Jacket and seamlessly fit it into Sandlot, like in the in the. Oh, like how? Like there, the two movies are now the same universe. How do those universes overlap? I like. I think I like that angle on it a lot more. Yeah. Okay. So give me an example. Um, Jaws. And, um, hmm, Grown Ups. Okay, so here's the issue with that. Why don't you do it? Because I it's been forever since I've seen those movies, and I genuinely can't remember how. Like, I remember Grown Ups, or Jaws. It's a pretty basic plot, but I don't remember Grown Ups at all. All right. Like, what happens? Let's get out of here. <laughs> let's revisit this. Yeah, let's go home. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This was a bad episode. No, the, I feel strongly about this one. I think maybe it's just because I got to talk about Batman, but I had a good time. If I get you, to talk about Batman, it's a good day for me. Yeah, but like all the, think about all the girl listeners that uh, dropped out. True. That's what I said. I say that. Oh, I say that like as Batman. a. I say that as a turf with very strong misogynistic views. Do you, do you know how many women listen to this? I wonder if I can find out, but I do I, know that my friend Olivia has been listening. Because she just wants to hear my beautiful God. voice. She, listens, she loves it. She listens for you. Yeah, Thank she loves you, it. Thank you, Olivia. Thank Thanks, you, Olivia. Olivia. Appreciate it. Oh, my God. She's going to love that. Sorry to waste your time. Congratulate her on her engagement. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Congrats. You're engaged? That's awesome. Oh, my God. I really hope he doesn't die before it happens. Let's see The Rock. I've seen TV shows where that happens. Stop. That's so sad. I know. That's why I'm... Olivia, I pray to God... That your fiance doesn't die tragically before the wedding. So congratulations. Let's see that rock. Ye- Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>